Hi there, I'm Michelle Patterson. I am at the California Women's Conference, and I have to tell you, um, so I just I had to go get my makeup fixed because I was bawling. I, I have had the fortunate opportunity of meeting this beautiful, beautiful lady that's sitting next to me, who's become a dear friend of mine, and this is Immaculate. And I just feel like I gave a special, special gift to um, our community of women. I really, um, it was, uh, for me, it was a highlight of the conference to be able to introduce you and to have you share your story. And I thank you um, for making the trip out here and, and being with us today. Mm -hmm. So, you, and I have to tell you, this is a true friend, because when she saw me, she's like, Michelle, and then she's like, I love the bling. <laughs> I don't know, and I'm like, oh, I'm touching you without permission. <laughs> so. I told her, I said, most of my friends have done that today. They've, they've completely like, wow, I love this. So It's beautiful, by the way. Oh, thank yeah, you. I'm having truly. fun with it. I do have to give it back. Aww. Yeah, Linda Stokes actually is the designer, so oh, I have so to give it back, but it's been fun to wear. Oh. Oh so good, yeah. So I love our time together in New York, oh, thank and you. and you touched our audience. Oh, um, does and I know um, you know we're moms, uh, so our no. kids are really close in age. So yes, you're uh, 13 and, and 15. And, uh, yes, and 15. So what do they think about you? I would love to hear that. Like, because <laughs> no. I know what my kids say. They're like, "Mom, yeah, they don't care. It's so cute. Like, and you're the mom." That's true. They don't care. They just want to know that they need to go to buy new shoes. They need to go to buy clothes. And <laughs> when are you coming home, mom? When are you, when are you coming making? home? And what happened to school? A friend. Just that's what they want to say. It's so funny. I remember my my daughter when she was maybe eight. She was kind of confused about what's going on, and then she's going like, "So, mom, are you a missionary? <laughs> are you a missionary?" <laughs> yeah. So you're not going to be a nun, right? You're not going to be a missionary like uh, the ones who don't have shit. Because you have us already. You have us. Yeah. yeah. So she's trying. Oh, that's so cute. So do you just go to, you want to tell people just to be happy? Like she's trying to figure it out. Mom, the boys in my school who really behave bad, will you come and tell them to be nice? <laughs> they need to be nice. So I love that. Yeah. I love your message too about being nice mm -hmm. and forgiveness. Oh, thank you. And, and that you're not, what I love too is that we're not alone. We are not alone so much. Oh my God, it's amazing how like, even the person who you say not necessarily care much about God, once they, they feel like I'm not alone, help comes in. And they can say, I don't know what happened, but somehow someone helped. I couldn't say, I couldn't feel. Once you know you are not alone, you see people as your brothers and sisters. And truly, I speak, I lost most of my family, as you know, extended families and friends. But anytime I see the audience, I'm like, I have a family. You, you have know? a family yeah, that loves you. Yeah, it's really up to me to choose to see myself as lonely or to see all these beautiful people as my family. They hug you, they cry with you, they, you know, they teach you, they inspire you, they share with you. So it, it, to accept that and to feel it, it has been so rewarding. And to meet you and look what happened now we are talking to people. And sharing that sharing, message. Yeah. And sharing that message. Well, I can remember when we were in New York, and we're sitting in the lobby and people are walking by and we're sobbing mm -hmm. and then we're holding each other. Mm -hmm. And we talked about it, and I said, I need you at my conference. I need you to come share this message. And what's so exciting is we've been going all over the world sharing this message. Yes. So you're, you, you could tell you it's, it's, it comes right from your heart. I really, I really care about people. I, you know, I always say, I, like I said today, we don't know how long we will live, but if only you can live one day, making sure that you care truly. You know, it's not just to care in some simple you know, superficial ways, if you really care about that person, I think you have done your job because you just don't know what tomorrow is. Of course, we have to plan, you know, have a conference room, you know, women conference next year plan, because all that is love, because we have to keep living. And as long as our intentions have been the right way, I think then we have done our job as human beings. But we have to care for others. If we are okay and you are not, then it's not good. It's not good. Can I, I'm going to ask you this. Is How do you today how do you handle fear like I know I mean you know doing these big projects and there's fear and there's things that come in but going through something so horrific and then coming out the other side is it is it different for you do you look at fear differently I, I do first fear is definitely my worst enemy so anytime I see fear coming the worst is to run away to want to put your head in the sand 
to want to hide, to not face it. If there is a fear, face it. Face it and see what you, how you have to work through because, like I said, it can get worse. There's worse fear that happened to people. I think when you look at it in the face and say, okay, it will be fine, and we look for help, what is missing? What do I need to face this? I think, again, help comes. It's so easy to be scared and then be paralyzed and do nothing. You know, I, and, and I was sharing a little bit about my, my book, Writing Left to Tell. Every corner was like, fear, fear, fear. You know, you can't speak good English. I'm new in the country. But somehow, I, I know how important love is. And if I want really to share my story, to care for the other person, even if it's two people, one person matters, that will be enough. So with all these obstacles, knowing that the end of it, the ending of it is a good coming from love, I, I just said, I'm going to ask the Almighty, the one who can do things. You know, if I am here, there is a reason. If you are here, there is a reason. No one is less, nobody, including me. Well, there, and there's no accidents. And the no I mean, there's accident. no accidents oh, at all. Oh, no, we are all planned. <laughs> you know, we are all planned. We are where we're supposed to be, and we can use what we have for the best at every time. And again, I think also knowing that you have gone through the wars is almost like you flip <laughs> around, like no more fear because, you know, fear the wars have happened almost or can happen. So then no more fear because it happened anyway. So better go through it and see what can happen. But not be fearful to make, to make a, a step towards love, towards a good action that can help other people. And to accept that, even if suffering can come through this, but at least you were aiming for goodness. Because then embrace fear is embracing suffering forever. Yeah. I love to I love to talk to you too. Just you know, again, we have kids the same age. I've got the sixteen-year-old and fourteen-year-old. I remember you though, and I was so happy to have her spend time with you. So, teaching your teaching your kids about forgiveness, mm -hmm. and, and 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 you teach every day. I mean, you taught you know our thousands and thousands of women and men at the conference today about forgiveness. Is is how do you how do you teach that because in, unless you go through it like you did mm -hmm. and get to their side is it's just it's it's what a, what a gift that you give everybody but tell me tell me where you're at right now i think they make my kids see it in action you know some in wonder we have a proverb that says that when you steal with your we carry babies in the back so when you steal with your baby in the back you're teaching them yeah. how to steal which goes through for the good also when you do good and they're watching you, you're really teaching them more than words can say. So we talk, we have communication. I love to sit in the evening and like, hey, come in, come in the living room. Let's all talk, switch off the TV or just put like some soft music and let's share, how was the day? So then as they're telling me, I'm like, oh, how did you handle it? Or I can tell them how something that happened. Even my pain, you know, I don't want to show them like I'm sobbing. Like I want my kids want to see you happy. Right. They suffer when they, they see their mom suffering. But if I speak about something I went through and, and capable to express it, it wasn't good. But you know what? It's okay. People may change. It, it would change and we have to be careful. But... So as they see me dealing with my life, which I don't hide them as we are together, I think they get it, yeah. One <laughs> time I, 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 I remember, I'm sure I have said it to her a long time or she's heard me somebody. So I went through like a, a moment of a shock. Like I just had got bad news, like a little bit of a betrayal and she was around, which I wished she wasn't. You know, somebody says something yeah. and she saw me like a fear, she, she saw pain. She goes like, she hugged me. She was much younger even. And then she's like, Mom, being happy is better. Oh, and that was her way of like, how can <laughs> <laughs> just tell mom to, Mom, just being happy is better. It's better than being sad. So you just be happy. It's okay, Mom. I'm like, okay, hon, definitely I will be happy. But it's okay, you know. It's okay we go through moments like that. But I can feel her eyes were just like, oh, how, how can I help, you know. Well, and yeah. we learn from them. I mean, we learn from these kids every day, uh, you know, out of the mouths of babes. I it's know. <laughs> and the Holy Spirit, just the clarity of their heart, yes. of their pure heart. Like, say things, you go like, who are you, you know? Yeah. Well, you'll laugh at this. So last night, I uh, we had two rooms, and so I canceled. There was no need for an extra room. So my son and I, you know, were sharing.